Asian Network. This is Legalized, the album that gave us the anthemic track Mundi Antobachke. Definitely the biggest Bhangra track of all time and possibly the most successful Asian track internationally. Released in 1998 by the British Asian producer, DJ, rapper and recording artist Punjabi MC, Legalized was the first mainstream example of truly British Asian fusion in music. And 20 years since release, this album signifies a sea change in an entire music genre. The guy is one of my main inspirations, so I don't think I can give a bigger compliment than that. Punjabi MC mixed the traditional Bhangra folk sounds of his heritage with samples and sounds from the music of his Western surroundings, creating a work that has inspired artists on the scene ever since. Rajinder Singh Rai, better known by stage name Punjabi MC, grew up in Coventry just outside of Birmingham in the UK. Inspired by James Brown and Bob Marley, as well as his father's collection of traditional Bhangra music, Rai wanted to know what it would be like to bring all of that together. Using money saved from his uni fees, he brought a sampler and began making his own loops. He effectively revolutionised the traditional genre completely, taking it away from traditional rural folk roots to make it music people could dance to in the clubs. Over the next five years, one track in particular began to spread outside of the Asian community too. Murdian Tobachke, using the hook from the TV series Knight Rider, plus the bass line and part of the beat from Fire It Up by Buster Rhymes, and combining them with elements of traditional Bhangra music and lyrics in Punjabi. The song is uh, for people that understand Punjabi, they're self explanatory. You know, Mundeato Bachkere, beware of the boys. You know, you've just turned into, you've blossomed into a beautiful woman. You know, be careful of these boys out there, they're naughty boys. In 2002, Jay Z heard the song in a Swiss club and is said to have freaked out. He laid down a rap on the track and Mundeato Bachkere became Beware of the Boys, the English translation. Yeah, soon as the beat drop, we got the street slot overseas in Punjabi. And it was this re-release that really changed the game. The Washington Post estimated that the record sold 10 million units worldwide, which would make it one of the best-selling singles of all time. It was one of those songs which made you feel proud to be Punjabi, proud to be, you know, yeah, this is our music, man. And it's like, you've got Jay-Z on it now as well. And that's a big, that's a big salute, you know. And you know you've made it when you're on top of the pops. Bangra, this is Punjabi MC. And on a dance mat game. But with his popularity came criticism, as Mundi Antobachke became known as the lazy way for movie and TV producers to depict Indian characters and culture. It's the number one Indian theme. An Indian woman is walking along. I can guarantee you will hear this song. <laughs> but there's so much more to this album than just its opening tune particularly for artists on the scene. That point when Legalize came out, it, it just flipped the whole scene on its head. I listened through the whole, the, the whole album and I was like, my mind was just blown. It's old school vocals. And it was like a modernized beat. And that's what we're doing, but we're just carrying it on. I just wanna be close to you. It became a seminal record with tracks like Challa, Mirza, and the Lagoria, collaborating with some of the biggest singers on the scene. That's what Punjabi MC had. You know, he had top end vocalists that were. Here, Punjabi singers. I don't know how he does it, honestly. I don't know how he gets his sound so clean. I mean, he's probably the only person that can make a song sound so full and it'll have like four instruments in it and a vocal. Of course, you'll hear hip hop's fascination with Indian style music in other tracks, like Missy Elliott's Get Your Freak On, Dr. Dre and Truth Hurts Addictive. Oh. 
Eric Sermon's React. But Punjabi MC's album is seminal for its Indian sounds and mixing hip hop and Bhangra for the first time. Bhangra, or maybe like Punjabi folk music, is so pure, um, it's so raw, and just adding that extra Western element, it just elevates it to another level. So it's about feeling the vibe of the original and adding your vibe to that. And I think he's, he's an expert at doing that. The album still sounds fresh. One thing is for sure, Punjabi MC's Legalized was built to last. Asian Network.